Hi, this is Prakash and I make video on smart home tech and useful gadgets for typical home user needs. Today we are talking about Zigbee smart power strip. I got many Wi-Fi smart power strips, but I was always looking for a Zigbee version for its consistency, local connection and the faster response time. Order it on AliExpress, packaging is nothing impressive. Manual is bare minimum. Power strip quality looks good. The cable length is 1.8 meter. Three controllable smart outlets with child safety. And child lock is only available in 2 a smart version, not in a smart thing version. Power strip has total seven LED on off indicator. Easily visible, not yet bright enough to impact night sleep and light up only when devices in use. Three LEDs, one for each smart outlet, one for Zigbee connection status, another one is for on-off status. Two of them are for USB ports, which are individually controllable. Back side of the strip has no holes to mount it on the wall. You can fix that by double-sided tape. So wireless protocol is Zigbee 3 point, the latest protocol, 10 m max power, 5 volt, 2.4 amp fast charging for total two USB outlets. And you can also turn on and off all the switches on this outlet with just this single switch. No separate button to control every outlet though. Let's turn on the power and connect it to the Zigbee gateway. Connection LED will be uh, blinking blue when you start for the first time, ready to be paired. On the top right corner, I have the app open in Twia Smart Life. You may download it from iTunes or Google Store. Now click on Add Device. Zigbee Gateway will start searching for new devices. And since it's Zigbee protocol, it gets detected very quickly. Now renaming the device to Studio. And device at this point is controllable not only by the app, but at the same time automatically controllable by Alexa or Google Home. Now I have renamed all the switch monitors. So turn off the switch and turn it on. Off. Turn it back on again with the lights. Turn it off. For USB charger, I have connected RF Wi-Fi gateway so we can see some LED lights turn on when USB charger is on. And once button is pressed, USB light indicator is turned on as well as LED light indicator on gateway is turned on. You can turn all the switches and USB ports off by just clicking the top button. Press it again to turn it back on. Time to test voice control. We'll use Alexa to turn device on and off. Alexa, turn off monitor. Alexa, turn on light. Alexa, turn off plight. Alexa, turn on USB charger. Slide shows up immediately. Alexa, turn off USB charger. Alexa, turn on studio. Alexa, turn off studio. There you go. You can also schedule turning on and off uh, outlets from a Smart Life app or from Alexa. You can also use the countdown feature to turn off switches as well. Another benefit of using Zigbee protocol is that you can use these cheap remote controls available on for like 11 bucks, which can control up to 12 GB devices managed by Smart Life. App. Here is the product link. You can pick the Smart Life Tuya edition or the Smart Thing edition. What it doesn't do is that it does not do power monitoring, as some of the Wi Fi capable power strip does, especially the TP Link uh, Casa Model 303, which I've been using for some time. And it's, it does basic power monitoring pretty well. Also, comes with power gaps. It's not great, it's decent, uh, but there are other power strips available which has uh, much better gaps between the power outlets. There is no voltage protection, surge protection, or circuit breaker available. Another benefit of using Zigbee protocol is that it extends the signal. 
to another devices. So more the devices you have, the better your connection will be. And this is literally opposite to the Wi-Fi. The more devices add, the Wi-Fi get worse. And the Wi-Fi devices are sometimes just not available when there is an internet problem. In Zigbee's case, power plug connects directly to the Zigbee gateway and Zigbee remote control can connect the devices even when internet or Wi-Fi is down. This is not an affiliate product review. I paid from my pocket. If this content was useful to you, please like it. And you like to see video like these, please subscribe it and share with your friends. I really appreciate you watching.